Danny Rayberg is a congressman in Montana. He's now running for Senate against John Tester. Now, they're having a bit of a war in Montana over uh, who sells out the lobbyists more. Now, Rayberg makes a decent point about Tester that he's taking a tremendous amount of lobbyist money. Uh, in fact, he's number one in lobbyist money. Now, uh, part of the reason that lobbyists give so much money to small state senators is because they can influence them more. It's harder to buy a big state senator because they got to pay for ads in, like, in California, in Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, etc. In Montana, you don't have to pay for that many ads. It's easier to buy them, so it makes a higher incentive for lobbyists to go get those senators. And do Democrats sell out to lobbyists? <laughs> you betcha, right? So now, as a general thing, do Republicans sell out more? Of course! Now, does it apply to Rayburg? That's a good question. And boy, does it ever, apparently. Because Ray Burke himself gave a speech to a group of lobbyists where he explained to the American League of Lobbyists just this past October how much he loves them. Remember, this is the guy running a campaign against lobbyists, has run several ads on it. Quote, a lot of y'all's type came to me and said, what are you, nuts? You know, if we had a choice of either run for Congress or be a lobbyist, wouldn't you like to try the Congress first? And I fell for it. I ran for Congress. And I probably, if I had been smart, would have said, nope, nope, I think I'll stay out of the political arena and go into lobby. So wait a minute, I thought you hated the lobbyists. I thought you were hitting Tester for getting lobbyist money. Turns out he's like, oh, I wish I'd have been a lobbyist. I love lobbyists. I wish I was one of you. It gets worse. Quote, what I'm trying to suggest is I think lobbying is an honorable profession. <laughs> honorable profession. Okay. By the way, his son is also a lobbyist, and he also takes lobbyist money in this campaign and tries to hide it. Of course, it gets worse. Quote, many, many of you are part of the solution, are part of turning this economy around and ending the recession, except that government's in your way. They are, in fact, the enemy, as they're your senior partner, and it is not what the government was intended to do. Look at all of those assumptions within that paragraph. He's saying government is the enemy, lobbyists are the solution, and that we are supposed to be your senior partner in the government, helping the lobbyists get whatever the hell you want. I mean, look at the assumption there that there's, they don't give a damn about the representing the people of Montana. He's like, where's the money? I'm your senior partner, and you tell me, in fact, of course, they're the senior partner, you tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I'm so sorry that we haven't been able to do it effectively enough. If that wasn't clear enough, one more quote. Thank you for doing it because we can't survive as congressmen or as state legislators or even as presidents without the information and knowledge that you have in the areas of your interest. I have to rely on you guys to tell me the information. You understand that? That means you just tell me what to do, you give me the information, I put it in a bill, I don't think twice about it. I'm just handing my job over to you. Government is the enemy, lobbyists are the solutions. This lying sack of whatever you want to call him is now running ads that John Tester likes lobbyists too much when he seems to be absolutely in love with them. Politicians, man, they are the worst. And apparently Denny Rayburg is among the worst of the worst.